All right, so we're taking a look at Icarus today. So first of all, what is Icarus? Icarus, it's a survival game with the difference, the big difference, I guess, where instead of just getting thrown into an island or like a planet or whatever and just surviving, uh, you have a constant back and forth from like this location, which is, I guess, somewhat of a space station and the planet. And in each time you go back, you have to complete a certain mission. You choose which mission you want to do and uh, you have to complete it. And once you complete it, you can come back. And when you come back, you get uh, resources, currency, that you can spend in this uh, tech tree to some extent, which allows you to get uh, better exosuits and better suits for uh, when you start the next uh, next thing, which will make it easier uh, in essence, basically. And we allow you potentially to go further into the planet where places you couldn't go before. So, how much? I've, I've played a little bit already. I've pretty much done the first two missions. I've done this one, which is basically the tutorial where it teaches you, you know, to gather some stuff, to craft the basic uh, things. And then I've done this one, which you had to go to three locations and scan them. Uh, I didn't get the reward, funny enough. Uh, I don't know if it's because I can do it again and the second time you do it, you get a reward. But by doing it on my own on the first try, I didn't get a reward. Uh, which is a bit annoying, I guess, I don't know. So now I have, uh, now it's the first time that I actually have a choice into where I want to go next. So anyways, so yeah, so apart from that, uh, the good thing is that my character, obviously you keep going back and forth with the same character and that character also has talents, uh, which you can see I've played most of them in survival and exploration. And you also have a, a tech tree, which is, which stays with your own character, I believe. Therefore, uh, in between games, you already have all of these things unlocked. You already are like slightly higher level and so on. Uh, this, this is pretty nice since leveling can take a little bit of, a, of some can take some time. Uh, the fastest way to level for me has been to just uh, kill stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'll, yeah. So apart from that, I've focused here in survival most of it, and then in the tech tree, I've gotten like the bow, a little bit of everything. I've, almost finished the tier one stuff well kind of i mean i've got most of the thatch stuff would be nice to get wood stuff as well uh i'm missing a few of the like medicine stuff uh, the repair hammers and so on but i'm like level nine almost level two well, almost level 10 which would allow me to get the tier two stuff which if, if the first proper crafting things uh, system with a crafting bench which until now i can craft everything from my character straight away so anyway just start and uh, yeah, last thing I guess is that you also have the ability to just have like a kind of sandbox uh, experience where you just do exactly that. You just go to a planet and, uh, you know, without time limits like it says here and without a specific objective. You just, you know, create stuff and so on. Uh, but I believe the, the space that you have available is restricted. It's smaller than the actual full planet. Uh, so anyways, I say planet, I believe it's a planet, but it's still like a, you know, a plane. So anyway, let's choose a mission. The assembly are this is a kill list. On Icarus. I'm not necessarily going to listen to everything right now. This is a survey for the looks of it. So I have to go to some location and survey the place. Three locations, so similar to the one I just did, I guess, probably just harder. Uh, you can see I have this missions and these two missions here to the right actually open up to like the further the the actual path, which is interesting. So even if I would do these other missions, it wouldn't actually improve. But I still think I want to do one of those to level up a little bit more and uh, do more. This is just straight up exploration, uh, which is I think I think I'm gonna do this one. So it's easy. Twenty nine days seems like a lot. I think I'm gonna do this one. So here are your items are the things that you could craft in that uh, workbench workshop that you would be able to do if you had uh, resources from making missions. So maybe once I finish this mission, I'll get resources. I'll be able to research some stuff and then craft it. You know, a better suit. Right now, I've got the basic suit, but I could get a better suit which has I don't know more heat resistance or more uh, more health or more just faster crafting or whatever so right now of course i've got nothing so i'll just start uh i'll play solo 
So yeah, what are my impressions for now? Uh, it's quite fun. Uh, it's good in terms of survival things. It's basic. It's somewhat what you would expect from a survival game. I uh, haven't seen anything too crazy. Uh, obviously it is themed. So you have these little animations which I think are pretty cool. And then you are constantly, uh, you cannot breathe outside, so you have apart from water and, and uh, food which you have in the bottom left here. You also have oxygen which you have to take care of. And the fun thing is because you are in a suit, you can actually just breathe on the water as well. There is no limit to how long you can stay on the water, which is uh, uh, interesting. You helped open this region up for the UDA. It's yours to do whatever you want. Enjoy it while it lasts. So, yeah, so like in all survival games, I guess you start with pretty much nothing. I guess my objective is just to explore the forest, fair enough. But like, of course, for now, I guess I would have to get my first uh, tools maybe start getting a little base going so I can get cook and so on so quite like the average stuff you would get from a normal uh, survival game but of course with the the addition that well once I'm finished with this mission once I consider that I've done with this mission uh, I don't know how it will work exactly in this case since it's just explore I guess as soon as I like, move enough, probably as long as I reveal enough of the area, it will allow me to, it will say that I finished the mission. So you can see that the map is, uh, well, decently big. And uh, I believe that when you go to like an outpost, like on those like survival, like in that uh, like free mode, you only have like 4x4 four four area to explore. So you can do whatever you want there, but it's, only, it's like a smaller area. Anyways, I don't need the... There we go. Alright, so let's, uh, I guess, gather some resources. And then we can start crafting the basic tools. So I don't know how long I'll play. Uh, just to showcase a little bit what the game is. Uh, but yeah, like the interesting thing that I find about this game is because you are constantly going back and forth on that like space station and like doing mission. Of course, each mission would probably take longer. Right now, uh, I've played about f three to four hours, and I've done the first two missions. Uh, probably like this mission might take me a little bit longer, and so on. Uh, but it kind of. Uh, I, I really like it. I, what I wanted to say is that uh, when I play survival games, I, I tend to like survival games, but the problem I have with them is that once you get settled somewhere and you start like being comfortable, you know, you have enough food, you can, you can, you know, survive pretty decently without much issues, uh, unless you do like stupid things. I tend to lose interest, right? Like I've already kind of managed to to tackle what the the survival place is. Like that, what the game really, uh, like I've managed to tackle the environment and after that I tend to be not as interested. Uh, let's do five, well, six is the maximum, then six. And this game kind of gets rid of that by simply making it so that you have to actually restart every once in a while. Of course, it gets easier every time you restart, but the missions are a bit hard, so each zone as well. Because uh, here I've been always spawning kind of around here. But if you go like further uh, out, you will get like harder enemies and so on. So even though you restart all the time, it's like every time it's a little bit easier. Uh, you go, you do go to like harder regions, which makes it uh, harder by definition. But also you are able to tackle it since, well, you have increased the, your skills, you can make better houses and so on. Another thing which is uh, kind of interesting is that there is like some uh, strong weather in this game, which means that 
you have to, in some situ situations, you might have to find shelter to uh, survive it, and potentially your house might get broke, might break by the by the weather as well. All right, so I guess I should start making a little house. And we need some stone for a campfire. And in terms of uh, performance, uh, it's okay. It just really had a patch like the day after it released, uh, since it, it had like a decent amount of issues performance-wise when it released. It seems to be a little bit better. I, I have not felt that much of a difference, but I did have to put the 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 like the quality options to to like medium. And it doesn't necessarily look that amazing. One of the things is it is full of vegetation. That there is things everywhere, which makes it a lot hard to, to look sometimes, to look far away. And at the same time, is that a wolf over there? No, it's not. All right, let's build here. Uh, but yeah, that probably has like quite of an impact in in performance as well. All right, let's do two by two. I'll show you a little bit how the crafting works as well. So here I need not that many. I need eight or nine. All right, let's start with this. So you can see, like, when when uh, when crafting, you can have you can hold R, and it allows you to choose from different. Uh, Options in this case is just the normal floor, and I unlocked the floor with a with a, with a with a trap door, which I'm not gonna use right now. But so I'm just gonna show I can show you better with the wall, which I have here, which I can have this one. But then if I hold R uh, six, I can have like the door, and of course windows as well. I am not. Well, let's let's put a little window, I guess. Can look pretty nice here in the windows. I always tend to like having at least one wall which doesn't have windows. If I have a corner, that's not too bad either. So now I would have to do uh, roofs four, and then four of those. So five. I don't know what the uh, options we have here. Oh, okay. Change from ramps to to things, and then we have okay. That's fine right now. Not necessarily. Needed. And then we've got these ones. This ones are a bit tricky because you can see right now I can just perfectly place it, it will ask me, I will have to actually rotate it, which is a bit weird. It would have been nice if it did it onto automatically like that. Obviously, I was going to place it there. Uh, do I have the door already? I do have the door. Alright, so now I can place the door, and that's it. Got a little house. So the, the building is quite basic. Uh, I like that it doesn't make you have a ton of different recipes instead of you just have like a few basic shapes and then those shapes can be transformed into whatever like like i showed you with the the windows and the normal walls because in some games you know you would have a wall with a window a wall without a window a one for a door and so on and it ends up being uh, quite tedious you have to like figure out which ones you need all the time so this kind of simplifies it which is a bit nice you still have a decent amount of stuff, but well, I guess let's get some food. Ah, oh, he left. It's one that far. Thought I was closer. Uh, yeah, there isn't smoke like in. <laughs> there isn't any smoke uh, thing like in Valheim, but that, that's fine, I guess. I was already quite impressed with Valheim, so something like that. 
which was pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, look, you can see that everything that I do also gives me uh, XP, meaning that I'd probably be level 10 in a little bit. And uh, I probably hunt, level up, and uh, I don't think I'll drag the video for a lot longer. Overall, I'm, I'm liking it. Uh, it seems to, uh, to really push towards playing with people. Uh, with the uh, only uh, difference that if you have, if you are playing alone, you do have some bonuses, uh, which are some stats, some talent points, which are a lot stronger than you would get in, in the normal ones. Because here, for example, you get plus 50 maximum health, while here you only get plus 10 maximum health. So they have like this kind of skill tree, which allows you to make it easier if you're playing alone. But apart from that. Uh, if you die and so on, you get massive debuffs uh, for for respawning without being uh, healed by someone else. Uh, so they kind of really focus on, on trying to have someone else. And there you go, got the level as well. Impressive. And now I get uh, the new tier of stuff. Alright, so let's go talents first, I guess. I could do some of these, I'm not too interested in case I end up, I do end up playing, because you'd lose them, basically, if you're playing with friends afterwards. Yeah, there's a wolf there. I thought there was another wolf. <coughs> so yeah, it seems like, yeah, killing wolves is definitely give you a lot more XP than doing other things. So if you want to level up, I would recommend uh, just going and hunting stuff. And I guess as other tips as well that I found out, if you end up going, because sometimes some of the vision, I don't know, will tell you to go here, for example, right? But in the end, you have to, because there's a lot of mountains, a very high mountain you cannot climb, you have to kind of go around. So if you try to always go straight, maybe you'll end up going to places you were not supposed to. So as a tip, if you find yourself in a place where there's enemies are a lot higher level than you, then you're probably not supposed to be there. <laughs> and they're probably going in one, like, different way than the one you're supposed to. Alright, so I still have talents to put on. I get one in each basic resource. I think that's going to be gonna be quite useful. And then here, get, I get a repair. One repair I should have. Splint would be nice. And uh, that window. Oh, it's openable window. Okay, that's interesting. Half pitch. That allows you to do other things. Half pieces. That window. That strap door. I don't know if I'm gonna get any of this. Maybe in, like an actual wood torch. How many do you have? Okay, yeah, I'll get a torch. And uh, I could start with tier 2, I guess. So a crafting bench. Oxide dissolver. Oh, this is for oxygen. I'll, I'll, I'll show you this a little bit. I guess I'll get it because I didn't get the basic one, I believe. Or did I? Oh, I did, I did. So yeah, so like I said at the beginning, you have food and water, which you have to take care of, but also oxygen. And to take care of oxygen, you can just use oxide and put it there. But uh, that is not the most efficient way to do it. Uh, it works for the beginning quite well. It's not much of an issue for that. But then I assume that later on it's probably easier to use the oxidizer or stuff with the with the new one that I just bought. I guess let's get armor as well. Do I have enough for everything? Feet. I, I don't have legs, right? Okay, I'm missing the legs. Got a few more and then I need wood for the crafting bench. So yeah, overall I think it's a it's a decent survival game for now. And the fact that it adds that layer of uh, doing different missions and so on, which makes it 
maybe a little bit more interesting. I think for some it might be a bit tedious. Because uh, some people don't like being uh, handheld for most of the time. And here it might feel a little bit like that. Uh, since every time you are being told to do something specific. So I think for some will not like it too much. Uh, I think I do like it. I feel like for now it does seem a bit too fast. Because as soon as you have like the very basic stuff you have to go out already. Because you've already finished the mission. Uh, but slowly I guess the missions would take longer. So you would have like a lot larger... Uh, preparation time. Hello. Uh. Oh yeah, and to not shoot the bow. I've heard some people not knowing how to do it. You can just press R. And it stops the bow from shooting. Otherwise you'll lose a lot of arrows. Uh, okay. So we needed wood. Yes, we needed wood. Did I get that one? Yes. Alright, so I need wood. Get some wood. And yeah, I mean, other thing is because it's a bit sci fi as well, I'm quite curious as to what will be available in the later, like later, uh, in the crafting. I know there's guns. I don't know how far they push it. Especially more than in the crafting tree that you can craft yourself. Uh, I think it'd be it's going to be more interesting in the actual workshop at the station. So yeah, I, I, I don't know. I like this kind of uh, rook-like vibe that it gives with this uh, back and forth from the station. Can I chop it? I'm not sure. Oh, I can. Perfect. Alright, so crafting bench. I do need to make a bed as well, which I need fur, so I need to do some... Uh... This is a bit weird also, by the way. So you can place things like normally, but then you can't rotate them when placing them. You have to first place it and then rotate, rotate it. So if I want it, so it's a bit weird because you have to pay like if you want to place it in the corner, that's fine because you can probably do it. But if you want to place it in the corner by like being like this, you have to take into account that once you put it, you you will rotate it, so it won't actually work. So it's a bit it's a bit weird that they've done it like that, but. Because in this case, like, I've already placed it, otherwise, like, I, as soon as I move it, it's out. I think, I feel like it's a bit weird. Okay, so now I have rope. And oxidizer, which I need a bunch of leather. So I guess I have to hunt. How many arrows do I have? Not enough. But I can make some bow arrows now. I mean, some bone arrows. Anything nearby? I've had that guy there. So stealth gives you, well, you can approach them better, and it gives you a bonus uh, multiplier when you hit something. A bit like in Skyrim, basically. Mm. Yeah, it was, it was not hitting. I thought it didn't see me, I was surprised, I was like, oh, I thought it was dead. Oh, I need water. Take everything, take some bones, drink some water, should get some food as well. Did I make the campfire? I did make the campfire, right? Ooh. Hello. Oh yeah, and the, one of the interesting things as well is like when I that one was the one I hit before, so now it, it drops blood, and I can actually examine it, and it will tell me in what direction he is, which well he's there. But anyways, let's cook some food. So I need wood, and place the meat, and start cooking. 
I do have berries, so I'm going to place them in five. Which also give water, so it's a pretty nice source of water at the beginning. I'm going to repair this. I should actually craft the next one. Which is this one, the bone. Which is just overall better, honestly. There you go, perfect shot. Yes, I know, it's, it's a bit dead. Not what I wanted. Alright. Take everything. No, it wasn't that deer, it seems like there's still the other deer that way. I'm gonna go for it because I need a bunch anyways. I don't know where it is. So like this is a, uh, like a little issue that I have with it. Which is that there's so much vegetation that it's almost impossible to see through. Sometimes when you're hunting it's like... Level 1. Ah, yeah, wolf go towards corpses as well. So if you leave, leave leave a carcass somewhere, you'll probably have wolves coming towards it, which can be nice if you want to attract them, but can be dangerous if you don't want to. Of course. Uh, where is the boy that I killed? And also because of this amount of vegetation, I've lost so many carcasses. <laughs> Just because I couldn't find them right like right now, I can't find it. Anyways, no idea. I mean that deer is kinda stuck, so I guess I'll go for it. Although he does have a child with him. Not very moral maybe. But oh no no, no arrows. But hey, we gotta survive somehow. You can you die. There you go. <laughs> I mean, I could get some talent points to improve the damage I do with bows as well, but I'm thinking uh, instead of using a bunch of talent points on bows which I'm probably gonna end up just switching to you know weapons once I get once I get guns uh, I'll probably just end up in the talents in combat probably just focus on firearms instead of focusing on bows which I don't know how long I'll keep with bows right and maybe bows you also get like better bows over time but it's gonna follow that Probably follow that wolf. If he takes me to the other carcass, that would be nice. No, doesn't seem to. So, bye bye. Alright, now I do think I should have enough uh, leather for a bed. And I can probably make the oxidizer as well. I need food too, which I am cooking, I guess. I can get some berries for now. Uh, additionally, I did find the game to be a little bit difficult at first. Uh, because, well, you can't craft most of the things, and you are missing any type of uh, protection and uh, any type of protection and uh, charcoal. Can I use charcoal? I cannot. 
You're missing any type of protection and healing potential. So I found it to be a little bit difficult at first. But once you get like the first basic things and you know a little bit more uh, health and so on in survival, then it becomes a little bit easier. I also got these which allow me to just not have to eat for, for, for longer, which is quite useful. All right, let's make a bed. So the bed again is the same thing. If I want to put it in this corner, it's a bit weird. But if I wanted to put it on the other one, I can't. I have to kind of predict that I wanted to have it there. And it doesn't even let me because I want to rotate it. But just not letting me. Can't even like start the rotation. Which is really, really dumb. I don't know why they did it that way. Like, yeah, now I don't actually want to rotate it. I don't know. It's a very weird system. Don't understand it. Oxidizer. Uh, the only... Put it inside. I guess so. Guess I will put it here. So it's sulfur and oxide. All right, uh, I'm gonna eat a piece of meat. And I'm gonna get some oxide. Which there should be some deposits nearby. And let's see how it works. I've actually never used it before. Now, is this sulfur? This is sulfur, yes. I thought that was a uh, wolf. So, like, yeah, like you can see, like, the beginning of it is quite normal to, like, any. Uh, like a normal survival game, you know, gather resources, prepare your basic base, and uh, I guess I didn't spend like a normal in a normal survival. I'd probably spend a little bit more time. I mean, I'd make a, a big starting base, and then I'll spend a little bit more time to find like a base that I really want to uh, go to, and then I'll start like making the proper base somewhere else. In this case, I won't, uh, because I know I will leave the place uh, at some point. So the way I'll, I'll probably do it, I will just, I'll have this basic base, I will prepare myself slightly, and then I'll just explore a little bit. Try to get the whole deposit. There you go. Probably get some stones from the floor as well. Which I am not finding now. Guess I took them all already. Hello, anyways, let's see how this works. I have to add oxide. Select the recipe. Okay. So is it doing anything? More efficient oxidizer for processing oxide into oxygen. Is it using? Got 31. Oh, do I have to place bottles or something? Take a look. The first one was here. There's still things like you can see that are coming soon, which is a bit interesting. That like the game just released and there's already a lot of things planned for the future. Uh, a lot of people I've heard that had the complaint that it felt a little bit like an early access game, and, and to some degree I might agree. Uh, like the performance is not the best and the fact that they already have so many oh, coming soon stuff seems maybe a little bit as in you know could have been an early access game but where is the oxidizer I got it here yeah no I don't it doesn't seem to but it's not doing anything 
Requires fillable vessel. It does require a fillable vessel, but I don't have any vessel. Any type of vessel that I could create. Well, never mind then. Pretty sure the basic one also does the same, right? Like if I craft this one. It should go inside. Put it outside because I don't really care. Ah, never mind. This one's a bit different. Okay, so you have this balloon that does increase. Okay, so maybe it's like a, a, an actual workshop thing? I don't know if I can access the workshop from here. Interesting. So you can see like like the house is actually cracking slightly. I think winds it should be fine. But with Alright, that broke. But with stronger winds the house will also break by the way. Alright, let's craft a little chest. Here. I can split it. Oh no, a shift would already split it. The looks of it. All right. Well, yeah, I'm surprised. I, I like. I get access to this, but I still don't. I still don't get access to other stuff. Maybe I need the, the furnace or something to be able to melt whatever to make something. A water skin, okay, that's a, an oxygen bladder. It's so far, how am I? <laughs> well, I guess it's not that far because it's already on the line, so technically the next level I can get it. Okay, okay, it's good to know. I do need water though. But yeah, for the most part, weather, like in these conditions, seems to be okay. I do have some storm exposure, which I do think, and my uh, temperature is dropping. But for the most part, it's okay. There's some times where you have like thunderstorms and stuff, which might light your, your house on fire, in which case you need a fire walker, which I guess I'll craft one just for in case. G, I cannot use in D by using O. Which allows you to just put fires off, basically. Which is, I guess, useful. So anyways, yeah, I guess this is Icarus. I'm not gonna play a lot longer. You know how these games can go. Uh, so yeah, overall, I'm, I'm having fun. I find it interesting. It's an interesting concept. I think it really gets rid of that that boredness that you can get in, in survival games where you get past you know the comfort zone basically once you reach that comfort survival games tend to really die out in interest at least for me and i think it really this kind of gives it and like an extra layer that can get rid of that that problem potentially so yeah i'm, I'm definitely interested to play for longer uh, we'll see how it goes uh, it'd be nice to play with friends uh, of course. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.